Hi, welcome to our channel. Have you ever heard people talking about yield curve and wonder what it is? No. Shut up. Today, I'll quickly take you through what a yield curve is and why people care about it. A yield curve is a line that plots interest rates of bonds having equal credit quality but different maturity dates. This is what a normal yield curve should look like. It's upward sloping and concave in shape. Let's look at an example on how to draw a yield curve. Here we have the US Treasury yields for 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 20, and 30 year. These are often referred as the US benchmark rates. There are three steps to drawing a yield curve. First, draw out the coordinate system. Second, plot the points. Third, connect the points. Easy enough. There are typically two types of yield curve shapes. First, we have the upward sloping that looks like this. Then we have the downward sloping that looks like this one. Now you may ask, why does it matter? What does it even mean? An upward sloping yield curve, which is what a normal yield curve should look like, means the longer the maturity of the bond, the higher the interest rate, because investors need to be compensated for the extra risk of lending money for a longer time. It also reflects optimistic expectation for future economic growth. A downward sloping yield curve means the shorter the maturity, the higher the interest rate. It reflects gloomy expectation for future economic conditions and inflation. An inverted yield curve often serves as a warning sign for potential incoming recession. Now let's talk about potential movements that can happen to a yield curve. If the yield curve shifts up or down parallelly, we call it parallel shifts. It happens when all interest rates on the yield curve increase or decrease by the same amount. This doesn't happen often. Steepening and flattening happens quite often in real life. Steepening means the slope of the yield curve becomes steeper. This can happen when the expectation of future economic growth improves or the expectation for future inflation goes up. Flattening means the slope of the yield curve decreases. This can happen when the expectation for future economy and inflation worsen. In the most extreme case, the slope of yield curve becomes negative, which we call an inverted yield curve. Understanding yield curve is very important, especially if you work in the banking, trading, or investment industry. In bond trading, the most used strategies are steepener and flattener. Steepener is a strategy where it profits when yield curve becomes steeper. It involves longing the short end of the curve and shorting the long end of the curve. Flattener is the opposite trade. It profits when the yield curve becomes flatter. It shorts the short end of the curve and longs the long end of curve. If you're interested in curve trades and want more details about them, please stay tuned for our future videos. There are also investment products such as ETFs, options, and swaps created to help investors to gain these kind of exposures. If you have any questions regarding this topic or have anything that you want us to talk about in the future video, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed our videos, please subscribe and smash the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter or visit our website at www.ironhawkresearch.com 
we'll be posting weekly market commentary and articles about things that you might want to know in finance. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.